first breakup. Um, hey, you freckled fuck. Oh, this person, the fucking relationship goes down the tubes and they come at me all hostile. I'll make this quick. I just want to tell someone and honestly, and honestly, before I talk my, to my parents, I know you're dyslexic like me, so I'll use basic words. Well, I appreciate that. I'm a senior in high school. I'm on the varsity wrestling and run dis and run distance track. My free time has only consisted of homework and Netflix. Parentheses, F is for family is my favorite show. Nice. Did you guys see how we announced that the great Vince Vaughn will be on the uh will be on season uh three? Right? No, season two. No, oh, season three. Yeah, season three. I'm getting fucking confused myself. Anyways. He said, uh, what the hell is it? I'm a senior in high school, blah, 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 blah. Uh, well, that was like 10 months ago. I had never dated a girl ever, but I had a crush on this girl for like a full year. She runs cross country and is way smarter than I will ever be. All right, great. Put her up on a pedestal. See how that works. She's a year younger than me, but we eventually started talking because when the boys and girls varsity teams would hang out, we both would be there. Eventually, she became all that I thought about. I literally could not focus on school, running, etc. We talked almost every night over text and, to, and were together every time I went out with the team. We went to homecoming my first time together a few weeks ago, and I had my first kiss there. Jesus Christ, this sounds like a fucking perfect story. After that night, we really didn't talk over text that much. We don't have any classes together, and practice is not a good time to hang out. Well, anyway, about a week ago, she texted me and said she didn't see a future of us being more than friends. I told her what I felt. I just said, that's fair, and all I want is for her to be happy, which is true. But I thought I would be able to brush that shit off like it was nothing. But I'm writing this email for no reason, so that obviously didn't happen. Uh, should I have fought harder to keep us together? Just move on. I've never been in a relationship and I don't know what to do anymore. Would appreciate your advice. As always, go fuck yourself. Uh, you sound like a funny kid, man. I think you can get yourself, you know, I think you'll be fine. Just keep using humor. Cry it out of you. Yeah, you, you fucking, you, you fell hard for this person and then they sent you packing and then you're like, what is there, something wrong with me? And it's like, no. There isn't. You're just not right. It's not like she broke up with you for a specific thing, you know. You're torturing animals, and I just don't like that about you. She just said, well, we're not right. She didn't feel the spark the way you did. That's what happens, and she did you a favor. So uh, the best thing is you didn't yell at her, and you're still kind of friendly with her. So what I would do is I would just fucking, yeah. But th don't brush it off. Um... If you have to, like, brush something off, that means you, you're trying to trick yourself that you don't give a shit. You do give a shit. And just sort of exist in giving a shit about it. Talk it out with people. Um, but I would leave her alone. But be friendly with her. Say, hey, what's up? And blah, 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 blah. And, um, you know, and you're young. You're still in high school. You got a, you got a, you got a zillion at-bats. That was your first fucking at-bat, you know? What are you going to do? So I wouldn't, I wouldn't take it that hard. Um, but it's normal that if you like somebody and they break up with you, for you to feel bad. All right? If you could have just brushed it off like it was no big deal, then that would mean that you didn't like her or that you were like a sociopath. And then that would lead you to torturing animals and eventually work your way up to uh, the ultimate prey, being a human being, walking out of a 7-Eleven unsuspectingly. Uh, so that's it.